So now we're in our collaboration space here in the office, and this is a really good place to talk to you about what Neat is doing with Neat App Hub and collaboration apps. So collaboration apps are, think of, think of applications that you would use as an individual on a, on a laptop to do distance collaboration. So things like uh, visual whiteboarding, interactive presentations, content management, or other fun engaging applications like quiz apps, maybe music apps, things like that. But what we're doing is we're taking those apps and we are deploying them on our purpose-built devices to give you a much more engaging group collaboration experience to use these apps, right? So you can put them in a space like this, get a group together, get people brainstorming on their feet, getting up to the board, back and forth, getting the juices flowing, all of those things, but still being able to engage and involve and be inclusive with your colleagues who are at a distance, like Daniel here, um, on the video call, right? So we still want Daniel to be fully engaged with what we're doing and bring him into the, into the fold as well. So um, on, on this uh, Board Pro, this, uh, this Neat Board Pro, which has a 65 inch display, it's perfectly suited for this, right? Because it's got a lot of screen real estate. It's a purpose built device that gets people up on their feet, walk over to it and get engaged. And we've got a few different of uh, these collaboration apps that we're hosting here. We've got Miro, we've got, um, we've got Lucid, we've got Mural, we've got uh, Klaxoon, right? So these are all ones that, again, really fill this use, use case extremely well. Today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about Miro. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on Miro. I'm gonna open that up. And what you're gonna see right here is you're gonna see the authentication page, right? How you get a board started. Now authentication is really important and Neat's app partners are all engaged with us in making sure that there's a great way, a great and secure way to authenticate with your personal, uh, your personal accounts into their application. Uh, Miro has uh, this functionality here, which allows you to uh, sign in with your, own, uh, with your own account to create an ad hoc board, or even uh, use an existing board just by essentially uh, porting it over to this device. So my colleague Gerard here is actually going to uh, get a board that he's already been working on up on this device so we can all use it together. And Neat ourselves is also working on ways to keep your authentication secure on our devices ourselves. So we're also gonna add a layer of security uh, and authentication uh, that we are also gonna provide. So Gerard has gone ahead and he's got his board up there and I'm not sure exactly where I am on the board so I'm just gonna hit this button which says fit to screen and that'll zoom me out so I can see everything that's happening on that board and I'm gonna work on the basic stuff. Let's start at the beginning. So I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna use my fingers and I'm just gonna zoom out and move that, those basics uh, sheets down here. I've got my, my goals, my metrics, my risks. That's what I want to work on and talk about during this session. So now again, using my, my, my uh, touch enable display here and my active pen, which is a big deal with a device like this. We have that on our Board Pro, the 65 inch screen. We also have it on a Neat Board 50. And what that allows me to do is, is as I'm annotating, as I'm navigating around my, uh, my, my whiteboarding session here, that, that pen is extremely accurate. So when I'm drawing, when I'm doing whatever I need to do, it feels like I'm drawing on, the, uh, on that whiteboard like I was using real ink. Now, as I start doing this though, I realize, wait a minute, Daniel can't see this board, but he can't see what's happening right now. Now there's a couple different ways to do this. Miro itself has a way for him to actually sign into uh, to this Miro session and be able to see the Miro board on his laptop. And maybe if we all have Miro accounts, that's the best way to do it. We can invite him to the session, he can log in. But maybe Daniel doesn't have a Miro account, or maybe Daniel's a guest, he's not even from our company, he's from a partner, he's from a customer, but we wanna make sure that he can see everything that we are doing in our, in our whiteboarding session. So what we've done at Need is we've solved this problem. So what I'm gonna do is my little slide out menu here, you'll see this button right here, which says Neat Share. Now, without having to do anything, I, haven't, I don't have to plug in any HDMI cable, do any kind of integration. All I have to do is hit one button, start, and now you'll see up here that Miro session that we're working in is now being shared as a presentation into 
the Microsoft Teams or the Zoom call that Daniel is in. So even though Daniel is, doesn't have a Miro account, he can see everything that we're doing and he can tell us his thoughts, he can contribute, help us brainstorm and keep track of everything we're doing on this board. So now I'm just gonna put my slide out back and now I can go ahead and I can start doing my work and Daniel's gonna be able to follow along. So if I pull up my pen just like this, I can use, choose whatever ink I want. I'll use some neat purple here. So I'll pull up the purple and uh, increase, my, uh, increase my line thickness so you can see it really easily. And now I can go ahead and I can start annotating and I can make sure that, you know, okay, we like this one. Uh, maybe our goals here, we wanna review six and seven. So we'll give that as an action item to somebody. And as you can see over here, Daniel's able to follow along. Everything I'm doing on the board is visible to him as well. And he can comment or give us ideas as we go along. So again, we're using the native Miro uh, Miro experience here on our side. So it's a native experience for us using the tool that we're used to and we've chosen. Daniel has a native experience on his side, even though he's not a Miro user, he's using his Microsoft Teams client, he's using his Zoom client, and he's used to that experience and he's getting to see everything we're doing in the presentation natively in those clients. So on both ends, it's very inclusive, it's native, and we're all collaborating in a really well connected way. We're really excited about the potential of, our, uh, of the apps, the collaboration apps we have in these devices, and the devices themselves lend themselves greatly to this experience, right? Because not only do I have all of this screen real estate, my active pen, which makes that drawing experience, the look and feel of that extremely, uh, extremely pleasing, but also the device itself is adjustable and flexible for different types of people. So for instance, if I'm a taller person, I can adjust it and have the board up here, but if I'm a shorter person, I can very easily just lower it like this using our adaptive stand. Maybe I'm also a person with a disability, maybe if I'm in a wheelchair and I need it a little lower. It's on wheels, so I can push it, move it around wherever it needs to be in the space. Or if I want to physically or uh, permanently install it in a, uh, in a conference room or in a space, that adaptive stand has a wall mount option, so I can put it on the wall but still get that vertical motion. So we're very, very excited about the, what we're doing with collaboration, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you do with it as well.